actually 50 years ago in the 60s, China was relatively uh, in a poor country, particularly in the countryside. Uh, the condi living conditions were, uh, you know, really, really, really poor. Uh, so, for people to uh, make a, a better living uh, at that time, uh, the route, the main route, is uh, to uh, uh, go through schools, study hard, and uh, try to find a better job, uh, you know, for the future. I still remember uh, the day uh, I landed in Gatwick Airport. The day was the uh, 21st of September. It's such a, uh, uh, an important day for uh, you know for students because as as, as students are very poor, uh, even with the scholarships. Uh, so most of students live around the Manchester Uni, which are Rushroom or Hume area. Uh, so it's, it's run down uh, by the UK standard. However, for me, it's quite good. I can have my own room, uh, so that's a big improvement. Uh, because it was first time for me to um, to be abroad, my first destination for me to, to be in the, in the UK. Although my year in Manchester was probably four and a half, I always felt that uh, I belong to Manchester, if you like if you, if, as a second home. I guess the, uh, the 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 fresh environment creates much stronger impression uh, to a student. My supervisor Norman was you know, very, very helpful. In fact, uh, uh, took me to you know, various opportunities for conferences and meetings. Uh, I, I, we even went together to Japan. To, to me, he we, yeah, actually it was like a, a father, academic father, definitely as a you know, supervisor. In fact, uh, in, the, in the Chinese culture, your supervisor is like an academic uh, father, parent. That's a that's, 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 uh, that's a shi. Um, there's, a, there's a thing like uh, you know, 老师如父母, some you know, similar kind of kind of thing, yeah. Uh, but in, in this case, it was Norman was really active as, as a very caring, supportive uh, uh, supervisor, not academically but as a socially, you know, as well. Uh, I was able to collaborate with the local colleagues. Uh, there was um, an uh, interdisciplinary research center in bound uh, materials, look at uh, particularly you know, all the uh, interface between um, you know, materials use in supporting uh, you know, uh, human health, uh, in orthopedics, um, uh, the orthopedic implants is actually the areas I was contributing, uh, trying to develop titanium alloys with the surfaces, is slightly technical, um, uh, but, but at least it's a, it's a new field. I uh, would set, certainly set aside some of the time to look at uh, you know, new literature, think about new um, ideas of uh, you know, ex doing experiments, uh, and if these ideas come uh, with, uh, with a you know, certain preliminary support, we would write uh, proposals for a uh, research council to support a, a more stable research for two or three years. Uh, and of course, we have to publicize, uh, uh, communicate, uh, uh, disseminate our research results. So, writing papers, um, uh, giving reports, um, uh, you know, they are also part of uh, you know the, the, the daily daily work. Uh, when we're having breaks, then normally the breaks are over coffee, answering emails, uh, and the evenings we, uh, particularly in London, I think most of us would try to avoid the traffic jam. Whenever possible, we normally live around um, uh, certainly after six, sometimes after seven. Or if work really dictates, we could could even live even live, live later. Uh, and, and I must say that uh, yeah, we enjoy movies and theaters as well, uh, on, you know, week and, and pubs on Friday nights. So it's not just uh, work. <laughs>